Naples away 2-0 now to Castro no score top of the first runners on the corners one out Castro has a chance to bring one in Brandon goes inside 3-0 now to Castro Nathan Perez, the right fielder, is on deck now for the Lobos. Brandon delivers. Big swing by Castro, 3 and 1. Full count now on Castro. Brandon delivers. Big swing and miss, and Castro goes down on strikes. First strike out of the night for Arvison. Now batting the right fielder, number five, Nathan Perez. And here comes Perez. Runners in scoring position. Two outs. Runners at the corners. Got a runner at first and runner at third. As Arvidsson now checks back at first, he delivers. And it goes deep. And it drops for a base hit. As Solis comes in to score. And the Lobos strikes first. Nice RBI single there for Perez. That's Abram Sanchez comes up now with two on still and two outs and a one nothing ball game for the Lobos. Low and away for ball one against Sanchez. One nothing Lobos bottom of the first. Brandon checks, delivers, and it goes into the hole for a base hit. And the runner stops at third. Now the bases are jacked. As Sanchez gets the second hit of this inning. And the Roscoe is, com is coming up with the bases loaded and two outs. Now batting for the Lobos, the catcher, number 12, Alfredo Orozco. Let's see what Orozco could do with the bases jacked. Brandon needs to get out of this jam. One nothing Lobos here. Bases loaded. Two outs. As Arvison checks first, delivers. The ball goes foul. Looked like it went off Reese's shoulder. 0-1 to Orozco. Brandon delivers. Pops it up. Ryan Kimball calling it off. And that will end the inning. But the Lobos do score one. And at the end of one, one nothing Lehman. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. This broadcast of Dripping Springs Tiger Baseball brought to you by our presenting sponsor, Austin Sports Medicine. The practice of Austin Sports Medicine is a complete medical treatment facility where patients are able to receive total care under one roof. Austin Sports Medicine has worked with some of the country's finest athletes and sports teams over the last 30 years. Overseen by caring and well-trained physicians, the entire staff works as an efficient and empathetic team to bring you exceptional medical and orthopedic care. Austin Sports Medicine has locations at 38th Street in Austin, at Anderson Mill in North 183, and you can visit the new location on B Cave Road near the Galleria at B Cave. 
For more information about the positions and services provided by Austin Sports Medicine, visit on the web at austinsportsmed.com. Max Miles, Aiden Perry, Tyler Poles all do up here in the top half of the second as we welcome you back to Lehman High School Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. one nothing Lobos with the lead. As the Lobos had a pretty productive bottom half of the first. And here comes Max. Max this season batting 312, 18 RBIs. Three doubles, two triples, and a four-bagger. That's the nigga. Wise. Mac pops it up and foul. It's the nigga. Delivers. Max looks at ball one. One and one now to Max Miles. Cienega has some good off speed stuff. That one goes low. Two and one now to Max. Aiden Perry is on deck now for the Tigers. Cienega delivers. Max big swing and miss. Two and two now. Cienega winds outside for a count now on Max. Cienega winds, delivers. Max looks at ball four. So the lead off hitter is on. As here comes Aiden Perry. Aiden this season is hitless. But with Max on, let's see if Aiden can come through. See, a nigga looks at first. He delivers. Aiden bunts. Lays down a pretty one. Max going to advance, and see, a nigga makes it in. First hit of the season for Aiden Perry. Here comes Tyler. Tyler this season is batting 286, 11 RBIs, three doubles, a triple, and a home run. And Tyler lays down a pretty bunt. And the Lobos get the force. And he comes off the base. And he is safe. So E3 on that one. Score is going to say E5. Now batting for first baseman, number 12, Mitchell Buckleman. Here comes Mitch. As Bach now waits on the pitch. Bach goes high. Goes far, goes deep, and it is a grand slam. Mitchell Bachman with a grand slam. And the Tigers takes a 4-1 lead. Big hit by Bach. Brings them all home. Box first home run of the season, and it's a grand slam. As Ryan Kimmel now comes up. Ryan this season, batting 340, 
eight RBIs and two doubles. Cienega and Ryan, big swing and miss. Strike one. Folks, for those of you who are tuning in live, we are having some technical difficulties here. We will get you back going. Big swing and miss for Ryan once again. Strike two. 0-2 now to Kimmel. As Luke D'Alessandro is on deck now for the Tigers. And Ryan fouls it off. Ryan's one of the 15 seniors on this Tigers team. Cienega and Ryan fouls it off. To say that I cannot wait for his parents' video this week, I have a feeling that uh, Papa Kimball, his father Matt, it may shed some tears, but we shall see. Cienega gets Ryan swinging. Next up in the box is the center fielder, number three, Luke D'Alessandro. Here comes Luke. Luke struck out in the first. And Luke. How's it? Once again, folks, we are having some technical difficulties. For those of you tuning in live, we will get it going. Cienega throws into the dirt. And Luke lays one down with a ghost foul. Nico Redis on deck now for the Tigers. One out. O2 now to Luke. One and two now to Luke. As Luke ready to do more damage. Big swing and miss, and Luke goes down for the second time on strikes. Here come Nico. Nico Nico's open one for the evening, striking out in the first. Nico gets on. Brandon Arvison will have a chance to add to the lead. Nico looks at strike one. You want to call that ball? Ball one. Pops it up. Should be routine play. And the Lobos get out of the inning. But not before. Mitchell Balkerman. Big grand slam. Tigers lead four to one. Going into the bottom of the second. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. We would like to thank our Hit It Here sponsors for bringing you this broadcast right here on Vipe Live. Boom Baseball, Buddy L Construction, Stacy Ball, Caliber Collision, Gatlin Creek Dentistry, Yeti, Carter Floors and more, Marucci, Lone Star Baseball Club, Denbo Company, Independence Title, The Cabins at Onion Creek, our presenting sponsors, Austin Sports Medicine and Chicken Express, ATX Sandlot, Pure Wash Car Wash, Avira Law Firm, Burt DeMint, Brandon Custom Homes, Lone Star Capital Bank, and H&H &H Flooring Solutions.
We also like to thank our foul pole sponsor, our presenting sponsor, Chicken Express. We'd like to thank all of our hidden here sponsors for helping bring Tiger Baseball on Vite Live to all of you across the globe. Go Tigers! Roberts, Allen, and Garza do up here in the bottom of the second back here. Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. 4-1 drip off of Grand Sam by Mitchell Balkerman. It's Brandon Arvison throwing some heat. That goes low and inside for ball one. And Brandon gets that one. One and one now to Roberts. Trey Allen on deck now for the Lobos. One and two now to Roberts. Arvidsson delivers into the dirt. Two and two. And Brennan, he's ready to go quickly. Wines, delivers as Roberts pops it. And it's going to be in play. And Bach can't get it. Count remains two and two. Is Big Brandon with a 2-2 count. Roberts grounds it. Pulls. Delivered. Over the box. Easy routine play. As Rod Roberts is retired. And here comes Trey Allen. Now batting the left fielder number 10. Trey Allen. Lobos do have two hits thus far. They trail four to one. Off that grand slam. I mentioned Balkerman. And Brandon goes inside for strike one. And Arvison, he's ready fast. Winds, delivers. Got him again for strike two. Owing two now, Trey Allen. Shortstop Oscar Garza. On deck now for the Lobos. Arvison delivers. Got him swinging. Second K of the night for Brandon. Now batting shortstop. Number 10, Trey Allen. Garza tonight walked in the first inning to begin the game. Big B goes high in the zone. 1 0 now to Garza. Brennan winds, delivers. Inside for strike one. 1 1 now to Garza. Cameron Solis is on deck now for the Lobos. As Arvison shakes off the first pitch, Mines delivers. Got him inside. One to two now. One and two now to Oscar Garza. Brandon shakes off the first pitch and the second. He got the pitch he likes. He delivers. Garza pops it. Luke D'Alessandro ends it. Lobos go down. One, two, three. And then at the end, the two. Four, one, Tigers. Arvison, Dunn, Miles coming up for the Tigers. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. 
Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3-13, back in, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in Texas. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. To the top of the third, Melvin Jones back here at Layman High School here in beautiful Kyle, Texas. As big Brandon Arvison comes up now for the Tigers. Big B was hit by a pitch in the first inning. Looks at one and all count. Low and away, two and oh now. Arvison Reese Dunn is on deck for the Tigers. Cienega as Arvison goes foul. Two and one out of Arvison. Ball goes into the dirt. Three and one now. Cienega winds, delivers, and Narvison goes deep. Goes high and holla. Solo bomb for the pitcher. Arvison's second of the season. Five one Tigers. They are rolling now. As the team comes out, they meet their starting pitcher at home plate. He helps his own cause. Big blast night tonight for the Tigers. Here's Reese Dunn. Next up in the box for the Tigers is the catcher, number seven, Reese Dunn. Reese big swing and miss for strike one. Reese flied out to right, to left, his first plate appearance. And Reese grounds it to third. Should be routine, and it is. First out of the inning, and here comes Max Miles. Max last inning walk to begin the second inning. Five one Tigers here in the top of the third. Cienega delivers and it hit Max and Max is on for the second time tonight. So now Aiden Perry comes on with a runner on first. Aiden single last inning. Five one Tigers here in the top of the third. Cienega looks at first. He delivers. Right down the pipe, strike one. And Aiden fouls it back to the net. 0-2 now to Perry. 
Tyler Poles on deck now for the Tigers. Aiden got his first hit of the season last inning. Cienega checks it back at first. Goes outside. One to two now to Aiden Perry. Hopefully the Tigers will keep this same energy up tomorrow night as Aiden Perry fouls it into the third baseman Smith for the second out of the inning. And here comes Tyler Poles. Tyler got on on the error right last two, inning. Runner on first, that is Max Miles. Cienega delivers. And Tyler just looks at it. 1-0. and oh. Tyler gets on. Mitchell Bachman comes up. And hey, we know what Mitchell did last inning. That four-run bomb into left field. Big swing and miss for Tyler Poles. 1-1 one one now. Cienega once again checks it first. He delivers. Max takes off. And Max is going to get in. No problem. Stolen base for Max Miles. So now a runner is second. And a 2-1 count. Cienega checks back at second. He delivers. Outside, three and one. Three and one to Tyler Poles. Cienega pitches. Tyler fouls it off full count now. Full we'll count on Tyler Poles. Cienega looks back at second to Max Miles. He delivers. And Tyler pops it up. Second baseman calls it forward. And he does. And that'll end the inning. But a solo blast from Brendan Arvison makes it a 5-1 ball game. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Leading off in the bottom of the third inning for the Lobos is the third baseman number one, Cameron Solis. Back here to Lehman High School. Brandon Arvison gets it in there for strike one. 
as Cameron Solis now batting for the Lobos in a 5-1 ball game. Arvison Solis hits it back to his dugout right into his first baseman. Count now goes to 0-2. Yeah, Brandon got him looking. Third strikeout tonight for Arvison. Next up in the box for the Lobos is the pitcher, number 16, Peter C. Inega. Hey, here comes Peter C. Inega. C. Inega got on on the fielder's choice in the first. As Arvison gets... Strike one. Arvidsson delivers. Big swing and miss for Cienega. 0-2 now. Count now goes to 0-2. Brandon Wise delivers into the dirt. Ball one. Is Arvison. He winds. He delivers. High and well inside. 2 and 2 now on Cienega. Jordan Castro is on deck now for the Lobos. 5 1 Tigers. As Arvison winds. Delivers. Got Cienega swinging. And Reese is going to float it over to Mitchell Parkman for the second out of the inning. Fourth K tonight for Arvison. Next up in the box for the Lobos is the first baseman number 18, Jordan Castro. Castro tonight struck out in the first. He was Brendan Arvison's first strikeout victim, and he looks at strike one. Arvidsson delivers as Castro fouls it back to the softball field. Well, they are having their senior night tonight. 0-2 now to Jordan Castro. Castro right now. Talk to the umpire. And to the dirt. One and two now to Castro. Castro gets on. Nathan Perez will be coming up. For the Lobos. As Brandon looks. He winds. Delivers. Got him looking. And Brandon Arvison strikes out the side. Great half inning there for Arvison. As Balkman, Kimball, and D'Alessandro is due up for the Tigers. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors and also presented by Austin Sports Medicine with locations in Central Austin, Bee Cave, and North and South Austin. And by Chicken Express, with hours from 10.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. On our way to Chicken Eat. Unbelievable. Eat, eat. Hot and crispy. And french fries too. 
Who's first? Me or you? Express tenders. I'll take two. Coleslaw. But that's not all. Creamy gravy. Sauces maybe. Plenty of sides to make a meal. Chicken E is for real. Chicken E with sweet iced tea. Follow me to Chicken E. Top of the fourth, and here comes Mitchell Bachman. Bach, of course, had that grand slam back in the second. Now it's 5 1, Tigers. In the top of the fourth inning, leading off for the Tigers is the first baseman, number 12, Mitchell Bachman. Here comes Bach. And it looks like there is a has Bach big swing and miss. There is a new pitcher for the Lobos. That is Oscar Garza. Goes outside from ball one. Cienega goes three innings. <coughs> Two home runs and Bach goes deep. It looks like this should be easy than it is for the first doubt. That was actually Cienega with the catch in right field. Now batting left fielder number nine, Ryan Kimball. As Bach flies out, and here comes Ryan Kimball. Kimball tonight. Struck out in the second. Ball goes into the dirt. 1 0 now to Ryan Kimball. Once again, for those of you who try to tune in live, we are having some technical difficulties. This game will be up on the archives later on tonight. 2 0 now to Ryan Kimball. Luke D'Alessandro. On deck now for the Tigers. Garza throws in the dirt again. 3 0 now to Ryan Kimball. Garza winds. Got him looking. Strike one. Three and one now to Ryan. Ryan thought he had himself a base. But it was for nothing. Garza delivers. He goes outside and Ryan Kimball gets a base on balls. Here comes Luke D'Alessandro. Luke is 0 for 2 for tonight, striking out both times. Coach DLC leading the charge. We understand that Coach Payne is here. He is in the dugout, though. He's not feeling too well tonight. So, of course, we give Coach Payne all the love from up here in the press box. Hoping that he feels better. As D'Alessandro back in the box. Only one now to Luke. Garza. He delivers. Luke show bunt outside one and one. Okay. 
Kimball takes a nice lead off of first. Garza goes back. But Ryan was right there. 5-1 Tigers here in the top of the fourth. Garza delivers. Luke D'Alessandro pops it up and got him at third, second out of the inning. As here comes Nico. Now back in the Nico Nico's 0 for 2 for the evening, striking out in the first, popping out in the second. Runner on first, that is Ryan Kimball. Garza delivers. Ryan takes off, and Ryan's going to make it in the second, no problem. Stolen base for Ryan Kimball. As Garza now takes back, looks, delivers. As Nico pops it foul, and it does go out of play. We are having some massive technical difficulties. We are on YouTube now. That's the word I'm getting. So for those of you watching us on YouTube now, hey, welcome to the show. 5-1 Tigers here. The top of the fourth inning. Garza checks back at second. And Nico looks strike two. Only two now to Nico. Nico gets on. Brandon Arvison will come up runner on second that is Ryan Kimball two outs top of the fourth 5-1 Tigers Garza wides nearly hits Nico one and two now Here comes Garza. And Nico goes over the center fielder's head. Nico's getting two. Here comes Ryan Kimball. Nico said, nah, -uh, I want three. And Nico's going to get three. Triple for Nico Redis. 6 1 Tigers. Here comes Brandon Arvison, who already has a solo jack tonight. If he could get another one, it's going to put a lot of pressure on his Lobo team. Garza checks at third. He delivers. Outside, 1-0 to Arvison. Brandon gets on. Reese Dunn will come up for the Tigers. 6-1 ball game now here in the top of the fourth. Goes inside for strike one. Want to give massive love and support to Suna Venkat, who has literally kept us on air tonight, putting us through Facebook, now on YouTube. We've been having some connectivity issues out here in the stadium. But Suna, thank you for everything that you do. Garza, pitch, big swing by Brandon, one and two now to Arvison. Brandon could give him a huge lead with a nice two run bomb right now. The wind is playing out. So, as we've seen already tonight, 
The long ball is very playable. As Garza checks third, he delivers. Outside, two and two now on Arvison. As Garza now, he delivers. Got him strike three, got him looking, and that would end the inning. But the Tigers do post another run. So after three and a half, game is official. 6 1 Tigers. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3-13, back in, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeBYPE.com. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in Texas. This is sportsmanship. School sports is not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Back here to Lehman Stadium here in beautiful Kyle, Texas. Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. 6-1 drip as we go now to the bottom half of the fourth. Perez, Sanchez, and Orozco do up for the Lobos. And Nathan Perez is one for one for the evening. With the single in the first. Brandon Arvison still dealing. Ball goes high and inside. 1-0 and now. On Perez. Big kick by Arvison. That's Perez. Easy play there for Aiden Perry. One gone. And here comes Abram Sanchez. Next up Sanchez. Sanchez also one for one for the evening. He also singled in the first. Ball goes outside. One and zero now on Sanchez. Alfredo Orozco do up next for the Lobos. As a ground of two, Mitchell Bachman, he'll walking on the first base for the second out of the inning. Now batting the third base for number 12, Alfredo Orozco. Orozco flied out to left, his first plate appearance. Arvison dishing. Goes outside, 1-0 oh now to Orozco. Orozco gets on, John Roberts will come up for the Lobos. And big fly. Going deep, going deep. And the bounces off the wall. And Orozco has a stand-up double. Third hit of the night now for the Lobos. Here's John Roberts. Roberts grounded out in the second inning. Two outs in the 6 1 ball game, bottom of the fourth. Arvison checks back at second. He dishes. High and away for ball one. Roberts gets on. Trey Allen will come up for the Lobos. Brandon Arvison got him right down the pipe for strike one. One and one now to Roberts.
Brandon checks back at second. He dishes. Big swing for Roberts. One and two now. On the second baseman. Brandon got him swinging. And that will retire the side. So a two out double does nothing for the Lobos. And at the end of four, 6-1 Tigers. This is Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. Meet Josh. Hi, everybody. Josh is a high school basketball player, solid shooter, great teammate. Hey, don't forget my tenacious D. And he's my son. Oh. So what does Josh do to be the best basketball player he can be? I play tennis. Studies show that student athletes here in Texas who play more than one high school sport are more likely to excel. Tennis does more than improve Josh's conditioning. It gives him a fresh competitive outlet, reduces the risk of injury by cross training, and introduces him to different coaching techniques and new friends. Don't get me wrong, hoops are my first love. Tennis just gives me a little break. So when the new season begins, Josh isn't burned out on basketball. He's eager to play. And you can see the difference in his game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Top of the fifth now. 6-1 Tigers. Reese Dub, Max Mal, Aiden Perry. All do up. For the Tigers. And here comes Reese. Reese tonight is 0 for 2. Grounding out his last plate appearance. In the top of the fifth inning, leading off for the Tigers, catcher number seven, Reese Dunn. And Garza delivers into the dirt. Ball one. Once again, parents, get your videos into me this week. This week we'll be we will be doing our tribute to the seniors. Friday night against Tyvee as Reese looks at ball two. If you want to make an appointment on Zoom, you can do it to me. Please let's make this happen. No later than Wednesday. As Garza winds. Reese hits it into the left field for a base hit. And Reese is going to get two. He's going to get two easily. Stand up double. But Reese done. He actually slid there. But Reese is going to make it. Lead off double for Dunn. And now here's Max Miles. As Hunter Miller comes in, he's going to courtesy run now. For Reese Dunn. Now running for the Tigers, number 11, Hunter Miller. Now batting for the Tigers is the Dutch. Max tonight Max does not have an official plate appearance. Walked in the second, was hit by a pitcher in the third. Here's Garza now checking back at second. Max can drive in Reese. Max flies it deep. And it's going to go holla! Two run shot for Max Miles. Eight one Tigers. They are pouring it on here in Lobo Stadium. This is Without question, the best this team has looked all season. And this has been a pretty good season as Blake Bryant hobbles back to the dugout. It's good to see both Blake Bryant and Brennan Frickle here tonight. And here's Aiden Perry. Aiden tonight, one for two, single to the second. Popped out to third in the third base at third inning. And Aiden looks at ball one. Eight one Tigers. Top of the fifth. 
Three more runs. They will wrap it up. Ball goes into the dirt once again. 2-0 to Aiden Perry. Tyler Post is on deck now for the Tigers. Could be a short night. Garza winds, delivers. Inside, 3-0 and to Aiden Perry. Perry delivers inside, but blue call strike. Three and one now, Tate and Perry. Here's Garza. He delivers inside, and Aiden Perry is heading the first. Five pitch walk there. Here's Tyler Poles. Right Tyler Poles. Tyler tonight is 0 for 1. Got on on the error in the second inning. That error led to the grand slam by Mitchell Balkerman. 8 1 now, Tigers, here in the top of the fifth. One on, no outs. As Tyler looks as a pitch hits the corner for strike one. Speaking of Mitchell Balkerman, he's on deck. Garza now delivers. Outside, one and one now to Tyler. Once again, Tigers are back at it tomorrow night against the game. Covers will begin at 645 right here on Vipe Live. Back-to-back -back games. Three games out of five days as Tyler bombs it, but it goes foul. Of course, DLC ducked. I don't think he knew that uh, <laughs> wasn't going to hit him. <laughs> Had some chuckles going on out there. One and two now. to Tyler Garza delivers and Tyler goes out swinging that is Garza's second strikeout now batting the first base the number 12 Mitchell Bockelman here comes Mitchell Bach is one for two with that granny in the second inning. Eight one, one on, one out now here in the top of the fifth. Garza and Mitchell takes off and Mitchell gets caught. I'm sorry, that was Aiden Perry. Aiden Perry gets picked off the second. Garza. They're going to call a strike. And Garza winds, delivers. Outside. One and one now to Bach. Here's Garza. Winds, delivers. Big swing by Bach. One and two now. Bach gets on. That would be Ryan Kimball. Garza now. Looking to end this inning. And Bach. Flies it deep. Center fielder. Has it. And that'll do it. Two more come across the board. Eight, one, Tigers. We did to the bottom 
half of the fifth. It's stretching time. 8-1 Tigers. This is Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. Tigers get two. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com. Bottom of the fifth, eight one Tigers. As Brandon Arvison still out there throwing. Nico Reddis will be on the bump tomorrow night as the Tigers play their final regular season home game against the Seguin Matadors. Coverage once again begins at six forty five right here on Vibe Live. As we have a pinch hitter now. As Christian Martinez now comes in for Trey Allen. Eight one ball game. As Brandon and Reese playing catch with each other now. As the ump makes the change on his lineup card. And of course, Friday night, we'll head to Kerrville, final regular season game against Tyvee. Our tribute to our seniors. That is Friday night. And then we begin the playoffs next week. So a lot of fun, fun things going on right here with Tiger Baseball. As Martinez now steps in the box. Brandon throwing goes inside, low and inside for ball one. One and oh down to Christian Martinez. Brandon delivers outside two and oh now. Top of the order and the pitcher Oscar Garza on deck now for the Lobos. Brandon goes down the pipe, but it's low. Three and zero. And the pitch goes off the net for a foul. Three and one now to Martinez. Brandon. Pitch goes off the net once again. Full count now, Martinez. Brandon delivers. Goes into the dirt. And Martinez gets on the first base runner in this inning. Here comes Oscar Garza. Guards is nice, 0 for 1. Now running number 10, Trey Allen. Stepping up in the box is number 2, Oscar Garza. Trey Allen now comes back into the game to run. That's Oscar Garza back in. Garza flied out to right, his last plate appearance in the second. 8 1 Tigers. Bottom of the fifth, no outs, one on. As Garza show bunt there. 
goes high, 1-0. Oh. Brandon checks back at first. He delivers. Right down the pipe, 1-1 one one now to Garza. Brandon tries to pick off Allen. Allen gets back with these. One and one to Garza. One on, no outs. Bottom of the fifth. And Brandon tries to pick off move once again. One thing about Trey Allen, he's keeping Brandon honest. Big lead now for Allen. Brandon delivers as Garza takes it for the four, six, three, double play. Good work there. As Dylan Wolf led the four, six, three. As Cameron Solis. Comes up. So Lee struck out in the third inning. Two outs now. Here in the bottom of the fifth. As the scoreboard seems like it doesn't like us too much tonight. <laughs> Brandon delivers. And a dribbler. Aiden Perry grabs it over to Mitchell Bachman. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We play five, eight, one. Dripping Springs Tigers. This is Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. Looking for future leaders we can trust and believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Texas. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It begins by making their grades and being on time for practice. It includes learning to listen, following directions, accepting responsibility, being a good role model. And it's about respect for officials, opponents, the rules, and each other. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. High school sports. There's so much more than just a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Ryan Kimball, Luke D'Alessandro, Nico Redis, all coming up here in the top of the six. Back here, 8-1 Tigers. Melvin Jones here, Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. As I see... Killer Cam practicing his swing. He is out tonight. A little bit of a, a hamstring tightness. He may not play tomorrow night either. So I think the word is maybe Thursday. See how he feels. Maybe he, he could go on Friday. As there is a new pitcher now for... The Lobos, that is John Roberts. Roberts comes in after two innings from Oscar Garza. Garza. Off the top of the six for the Tigers. Here's Ryan, Ryan Kimball. Ryan Kimball. Three more. And the Tigers can't put the finishing touches on this game. Ryan tonight, 0 for 1. He did walk his last plate appearance. Ball goes high for ball one. Roberts and Ryan could not check his swing. Ooh. 
Did he check it? He did. 2 0 now on Kimball. As Roberts now. Wine delivers. Foul back to the backstop. 2 and 1 now on Ryan Kimball. Luke D'Alessandro is on deck as he runs and grabs the ball. He's up next. Both of these teams do play tomorrow night. Of course, we will host Seguin tomorrow night. What could be an emotional night as for these 15 seniors, their final regular season home game. No telling what's going to go on next week as Ryan pops it up. As Garza gets it to retire Ryan Kimball. One away, and here comes Luke D'Alessandro. Next up in the box is number three, Luke D'Alessandro. Luke tonight, 0 for 3, 2 Ks. As Roberts goes into the dirt, 1 0 now on Luke. Nico Redis is on deck. Nico had a triple earlier. Had a triple back in the fourth inning. 1-0 now on Luke. Roberts and Luke pops it. Goes in to the right field. Second out of the inning. And Luke is 0-4 for, for tonight. Now batting, number 22, Nico Redis. And here comes Nico. Nico's going to be on the bump tomorrow night. He's going to try to do some more damage tonight. As Roberts delivers. Nice pitch, but it goes a little outside for ball one. 8-1 Tigers. Two outs here in the top half of the six. Roberts and Nico. Grounds it to Garza. And Garza gets him out. And the Tigers for the first time tonight go one, two, three. The end of six, five and a half. Tigers eight. Lobos one. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Looking for future leaders we can trust and believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Texas. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It begins by making their grades and being on time for practice. It includes learning to listen, following directions, accepting responsibility, being a good role model. And it's about respect for officials, opponents, the rules, and each other. The result? It transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. High school sports. There's so much more than just a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Here in the bottom of the sixth, 8-1 Tigers. Let's see if Brandon could get us two more innings. In the bottom of the sixth for the Lobos, leading off, number 16, Peter Cienega. As here comes Peter Cienega. Cienega struck out. His last plate appearance in the third. Cienega was a starting pitcher tonight. Going three. Giving up six. As Arvidsson. Pitch goes into the dirt. 1-0 now on Cienega. Jordan Castro is on deck now. And that is not Jordan Castro. There will be someone hitting for Castro. One and on now to Cienega. Brandon goes down the pipe. One and one now.
two and one to Cienega. Lorenzo Bazan, pinch hitting next. And the fouls go screaming into the net. Two and two now to Cienega. Brandon winds, delivers. Cienega fouls it once again. Count remains two and two. Got him. Seventh strikeout of the night for Arvison. As Bazan comes up with one out here in the bottom of the six. Eight one Tigers. As Reese and Brandon go ahead and have a conversation. I'd like to remind you guys, especially you senior parents, please have your videos in to me by Wednesday. We want to have a nice send off for our seniors. Of course, it will air during the Tyve game on Friday night right here on Vibe Live. We will also have some information. I don't know how much, but some information about playoffs on Friday night as well. We don't know where, we don't know against who. Of course, everything is also depending on Canyon. They play Adamo Heights tomorrow night. Tigers need to win out and have one Canyon loss to have a chance at least sharing the district title. As Arvison winds and delivers, and Bazan does not go around 1 0 now. To Lorenzo Bazan. As Brandon goes right down the pipe, right there, one and one. Right fielder Nathan Perez is on deck now for the Lobos. Now Arvison is throwing heat. One and two now to Bazan. Arvison, wise, delivers. Eight strikeout for Brandon Arvidsson. Now batting, number five, Nathan Perez. Perez tonight. One for two. He did pop out to third base in the fourth inning. Brandon Wines into the dirt ball, one. Arvidsson, high and into the zone, 2-0. and To think about it, outside of the two-game snide that happened with the Canyon and the Bernie Champion game, as Arvidsson winds right on the corner for strike one. Outside of those two games, this district season has been very good for the Tigers. Arvidsson got Perez swinging, 2-2 two two now. They win these next three games, including tonight. Watch out in the playoffs. Arvidsson goes inside. Full count now on Perez. With Sanchez now coming up here. Ball goes into the dirt as Perez gets the base on balls. And here comes Abram Sanchez. Sanchez tonight, one for two, single in the first, grounded out in the fourth. Runner on first, that is Nathan Perez. Two outs, bottom of the six, eight-one ball game. Brandon Arvison, ball goes outside, one and zero. Oh.
deep breath for Brandon. And to his mind, he delivers. And, and Reese nearly throws it over Mitch Bachman's head. One and one now. They call that a ball. Yeah. Two and zero oh now. To Sanchez. Brent delivers. Outside three and zero oh now. I know Brandon wants to get out of the inning. And Sanchez fouls it back. Three and one now to Abram Sanchez. Sanchez gets on. Orozco will come up. Brandon checks it first. Delivers. Got him on the corner. Full count now on Sanchez. is going to go back to first. High throw over there to Bach. And Reese is going to come out and have a chit chat with his pitcher. Can you believe folks? Two games after tonight. One tomorrow night. One on Friday. And Sanchez, ooh, that was so close. But Sanchez is going to get the walk. Second straight walk that Brandon Arvison has given up. Now Here it comes Alfredo, Alfredo, Orozco. Alfredo Orozco, who hit a double back in the fourth. So he has had some success against Brandon. Coach DLC. Maybe we have a little chit chat. There is some activity in the bullpen. Cody Evans is in the pen right now for the Tigers. Had a chit chat with Cody's mom this afternoon. As we are getting our senior video prepared. I think uh, Cody's going to love it. His tribute from his mom. And that's going to do it for Brandon. And here comes Cody Evans. As Cody comes. Great outing for Brandon Arvison. Eight Ks. Over five and two thirds. We'll step aside. As Cody Evans now comes into the ball game and gets warmed up for the Tigers. 8-1 drip. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. I loved playing high school sports. I loved the competition, the camaraderie, the bands, the crowds, all the pageantry. And I wanted to keep playing. But I graduated. No colleges called and neither did the pros. So. To stay close to the game I loved, I decided to become a high school official. You know, a referee. When I played high school sports, I learned the importance of integrity, good sportsmanship, and respect for the rules. Now as a high school official, I get to help model these same values to others. Maybe the colleges and the pros didn't call, but the kids in Texas did. And now, I'm enjoying the competition, the camaraderie, the bands, the crowds, and all the pageantry of high school sports all over again. Interested in becoming a licensed high school official? Go to highschoolofficials.com to learn more and begin the application process. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events, 
For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at VibeVYPE dot com. Back here to Lehman High School, Brendan Arvison tonight going five and two thirds. Eight K's, four walks, and give it up. Three hits. Pretty good outing there from Brandon. As Brandon Arvison does take over in his everyday position. He's in right field. Luke D'Alessandro's night is over. In the field of this. As Alfredo Orozco comes up. Orozco hit a double back in the fourth. He has two on with two outs now. You're in the bottom half of the six. 8-1 Tigers. It's Cody. Delivers. He has a Roscoe swinging. Four strike one. A Roscoe gets on. John Roberts, who has come in the pitch, is due up for the Lobos. As a Roscoe fouls it out of play. 0 and 2 now. Tigers a uh, little short on bat bodies tonight. Cam, of course, is out as Aiden pitching it, and Roscoe fouls it off. Cam is out tonight. He have the season-ending injuries to both Blake Bryant and Brennan Freckle. So, I don't think Coach DLC or Coach Payne wants any more changes tonight. As we begin this three games of five days set. And the runners are oh. And the runners are in trouble. And Reese Dunn gets the runner trying to run the third. And that will end the inning. Two walks, but no damage. Eight one Tigers. We go now to the seventh inning. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 for 2, not yet, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone, touchdown Rangers. 16 seconds, really perfect corner. The pitch to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one! Log on to VibeBYPE.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Fourth pitcher of the night for the Lobos as Jordan Castro comes in the pitch for the Lobos. 8-1. Tigers with the lead. Welcome back to Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Melvin Jones here from Lehman High School. As here comes Brendan Arvison. Brandon tonight. One for one for two. Of course, that solo jack in the third. Arvison, Dunn, Max Miles are due up. As Castro continues to warm up here for the Lobos. The Layman Lobos. Who has showed plenty of heart tonight. They have not given up despite the score. Of course, Brandon's up to get his sixth win of the year. Barring a complete collapse, Brandon's going to go to 6-1 and one for the season. He steps in. 
Castro. High and inside. 1 0 now on Arvison. Castro goes into the dirt. 2 0. So Max Miles comes and get the foul ball. And did not check a swing. Two and one now on Brandon Arvison. Castro. He delivers and Brandon fouls it off the net. Two and two now. Once again, the girls begin their postseason Thursday night in Leander against Glenn. Game one of a three-game set. Girls, of course, winning district last week. Ball goes well outside. Full count now, Brandon. We're set up for the UIL, though. Girls who are district champs are starting on the road against the fourth place team. As Brandon Arvison takes the base and gets on for what should be the final time of the night. Here comes Reese Dunn now. Number seven, Reese Dunn. Reese tonight. One for three. Doubled in the fifth. Most dangerous hitter in this Tigers lineup. As Castro goes back to first on the pickoff. But Brandon gets back there safely. There is hope that maybe Alamo Heights could pull the, off the upset tomorrow night. Tyvee nearly did on Friday night as Reese pops it up. And routine for the first out. So the Cougars of Canyon had some trouble against Tyvee on Friday night. So the hope is that maybe Alamo Heights could pull the upset. So for the most part, we pull it for the rivals tomorrow night. Castro goes down the pipe for strike one. Max tonight is one for one. He hit a bomb in the fifth. Two run home run. As Castro delivers. In there once again, 0 and 2 against Max. Aiden Perry. Is going to be pinch hit for. The ball goes into the dirt. And Brandon is going to get the second. Castro looks back at second. Checks it again. He delivers. Nearly hit, hit Max. Two and two now to Max Miles. It's Max to see if he can bring Brandon home. Castro looks, looks twice. Full count now on Max Miles. And 
Max goes down swinging. First strikeout tonight for Jordan Castro. As now Wyatt Lesper comes up to pinch hit for Aiden Perry. Now batting number 23, Wyatt Lesper. Wyatt this season batting a buck 43. One RBI, one double. Two outs now for Wyatt. Brandon Arvis in the second. Ball goes right down the middle for strike one. Only one down to Wyatt. Castro and Wyatt sends a dribbler to first and that'll do it so after the initial walk no other damage as the Lobos are down to their final three eight to one Tigers going down to the bottom of the seven this is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live meet Josh hi everybody Josh is a high school basketball player, solid shooter, great teammate. Hey, don't forget my tenacious D. And he's my son. Uh -huh. So, what does Josh do to be the best basketball player he can be? I play tennis. Studies show that student athletes here in Texas who play more than one high school sport are more likely to excel. Tennis does more than improve Josh's conditioning. It gives him a fresh competitive outlet, reduces the risk of injury by cross training, and introduces him to different coaching techniques and new friends. Don't get me wrong, hoops are my first love. Tennis just gives me a little break. So when the new season begins, Josh isn't burned out on basketball. He's eager to play. And you can see the difference in his game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Bottom half of the seven. As Orozco, John Roberts, and Christian Martinez are due up for the Lobos of Laban. And it's 8 1 ball game. Cody Evans remains on a bump. A few changes. As Aiden Perry is now over at second base. As it looks like Dylan Wolf's night is done. As Alfredo Orozco leads off now for the Lobos. Nearly hit him. 1-0 now to Orozco. Quick turnaround once again tomorrow night. The Sagi Matadors comes to the Tiger Den. Against Nico Redis and the Dripping Springs Tigers. Coverage will begin at 645 right here on Vipe Live. Hopefully I'll have, I'll have a voice by the end of the week. As we are pushing through the end of this regular season and heading to, to the postseason. Big pop up. And Brandon Arverson should have it. And he does for the first out of this seventh inning. Here's John Roberts. Roberts tonight 0 for 2. Striking out in the fourth. Right down the pipe for Cody Evans. 0 1 now to Roberts. Evans. Single, Perry, over to Mitchell Balkerman. Two outs. 
Your last hope now. As Trey Allen comes back up. Allen tonight did strike out in the second. Big swing and miss for Cody Evans. Only one now to Allen. Another swing. Only two now. Lowell's are down to their final strike. Cody Evans. Wine. Pitch. Fouls it off as Allen remains alive. Three hits so far for the Lobos. Ball goes inside. One to two now to Trey Allen. Big swing, big miss. End of the ball game as your Dripping Springs Tigers defeats the Lehman Lobos by a score of 8-1. to one. We'll come back for the final numbers. This is Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors and also presented by Austin Sports Medicine with locations in Central Austin, Bee Cave, and North and South Austin and by Chicken Express with hours from 10.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. On our way to chicken eat. Unbelievable. Sweet tea. Hot and crispy. And french fries too. Who's first? Me or you. Express tenders. I'll take two. Coleslaw. But that's not all. Creamy gravy. Sauce is maybe. Plenty of sides to make a meal. Chicken eat is for real. Chicken eat with sweet iced tea. Follow, Follow me to chicken eat. <laughs> Final score tonight, 8-1. to one. Your Dripping Springs Tigers improve to 12-2 and two in district play. Of course, we're hoping for the best, and we're hoping that Alamo Heights comes through for the help tomorrow night as they take on Canyon. Canyon can clinch the division, the district, with the win tomorrow night. Fans, this is going to be a long week. But it's going to be well worth it. As we get down to the postseason, two more games to go in this regular season. Tomorrow night against the Seguin Matadors and Friday against Kerrville Tyvee. Of course, everything will be right here on Vibe Live. Tonight's player of the game had to be Mitchell Balkerman. Balk, of course, with that grand slam in the second to open things up for the Tigers. And the Tigers just cruise on from there. Hopefully we'll see that same effort tomorrow night against the Matadors. Once again, folks, final score, 8-1. to one, Your Tigers dominated tonight against the Lehman Lobos. Tomorrow night, 6.45, Seguin comes to the Tiger Den. We'll be here. We'll be here all week. Let's get this regular season going. Let's get ready for this playoff run. It's state of bust for these Tigers and these 15 seniors going out. Thanks to everyone involved. Lynn, Suna, everyone here at Vibe. Crazy night for us behind the scenes, but we got it going for you guys. I'm Melvin Jones saying good night 
from Kyle, Texas, and Lehman High School. This has been Tiger Baseball on Fight Live. We'll see you tomorrow night.